Good morning everyone and welcome to the Mayor's Vlog. Today I'm visiting the Portuguese Grill in Littlehampton High Street. Let's go in and see what they do. Have you heard about summer snow? Here I am, Portuguese Grill Courtyard. Reason Hello, Paul. Mr. Mayor. Good morning, Paul. How are you? Very well. Very well. Good. Nice How is it to be reopened now after the lockdown? It's a bit of a relief, to be honest. You know. I bet. Yeah. It was yeah. a long period of time, wasn't it? It was a bit too long, but it's nice to get things up and running again. Yeah. A bit of yeah. normality. Has the uh, community embraced your reopening? Oh yes, most definitely. Most definitely. I mean, it's it's as if we were not closed. You know. That's really good to Very hear. Good. So Paul, tell me a little bit more about the Portuguese Grill. Well, the Portuguese Grill um, has been in Littlehampton for more or less four and a half years. Uh, we, we, we do traditional Portuguese food, all the, the delicacies of Portugal over here, and from the little island of Madeira, which uh -huh. is where most of the staff are from. Uh, but we also incorporate with a lot of uh, traditional English breakfasts, yeah. uh, sandwiches, paninis, so a, a mixture, a mixture. Wide variety though. Yeah, wide variety. Catering for everyone. We, we'd like to cater for everyone. It's good because um, it also incorporates the local, not only the Portuguese community, but also the variety of most people that come in here. Everyone's welcome. How easy have you found it to reopen with following of the issuing of the government guidelines with the social distancing, etc. Uh, it's not been that bad. The customers have helped. You know, mm -hmm. in the beginning, it's, the first few days was a bit you know, awkward for everyone. You know, people yeah. don't know whether they could sit down. Um, the learning curve. Learning curve for all of us. Obviously, the, the hand sanitizers everywhere as well. You know, trying to make sure that the staff as well uh, use it regularly. Uh, that the surfaces are constantly cleaned. Yeah. So in general, it's been good. It's been oh, good. good. I'm, I'm glad that transition has been nice and smooth for you. That's brilliant to hear. So Paul, what are you looking forward to now you're reopened and with the easing of the lockdown restrictions and probably more to come, what are you and your team looking forward to now? Well, we're just looking forward to it all returning to normal. It'd be nice to just welcome new people into, into the town and also into our establishment and uh, just have everyone um, feel positive about the future. Because at the moment, you know, Everyone's a bit unsure where we're going, but hopefully the future will be positive for everyone in the town. And, uh, you know, there's no other place. If you want the best traditional PUP chicken, this is the place to have it. Really? You know, we offer something different, something that awesome. even most traditional Portuguese places don't offer because we have that Madeira meat on the stick. You can't beat it. Best on the South Coast, Best eh? on the South Coast, I reckon. Tell you what, let's go and see what the chef's preparing at the moment in the kitchen. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, the one. Okay, Mr. Mayor, this is uh, Chef Nelson here. We've got the, the traditional... Hi, Nelson. Hi, chicken on a rotisserie grill. Oh, the best on the it. South Coast. Look at that. Fresh as it, as it comes. So, Paul, how yeah. do you cook this famous chicken, best on the South Coast? Well, we have uh, our top secret marinade that we cook. The chicken is marinated there. And that infuses all the flavours, and then grilled over there, nice and fresh. Can't beat it. Looks fantastic. I won't ask you a secret ingredient because you'll probably say you'll kill me. Well, <laughs> potentially yes. Great there to meet Paul and the team at the Portuguese Girl. That period period chicken looks out of this world, and I can't wait to go back and try it one day.